Hello there, my name is Marshall and Pete and today I'm going to give you an updated 2022 tour of my home studio, also known as Chime Tone Studio. There may be a little technical terminology here and there, but for the most part this is about the studio and not the gear. So starting with the desk, this TV here is used as a monitor. It is dual purpose because the studio space also doubles up as my living room. The mini mixer here is used for recording manual fader movements and also useful as a remote recording button when it is used in Bluetooth mode. The MIDI keyboard is used for recording piano, synth and orchestral parts. The Superlux ECM999 reference mic has a few uses. I use it to measure the room sound which is used to give the reference speakers a more neutral response when I mix. It is also often used as a room mic when I record as well as sometimes a talkback mic. This Sontronic Solar mic is used as a close mic for video calls. This is a great microphone for male vocals. Because it has a tight supercardioid polar pattern, it doesn't pick up too much room sound. So I often use it for vocals for my cover videos, where I need to produce quickly and don't have time to set up panels to create a vocal booth. My interface is an RME Fireface 802. It's very reliable, has a lot of connection options and has high quality transparent preamps. That is perfect for me, as I like to then colour the audio when I mix on the computer. I use this Boss GP10 as a virtual amp. The sound from it is in my headphones when I play guitar, whilst the direct signal from the guitar goes straight into the computer. This means I get instant fallback, which is minimally affected by any lag from the computer. I also then get a clean recording, as I can then use with guitar amp plugins. I use Eve Audio SC204s as my reference speakers. They look and sound fantastic. This large amp here is an Ashdown Fallen Angel 180. I've had this amp the longest out of all my current amps. It is perfect when you want something loud with plenty of gain and bass headroom. It is very heavy though, so I don't use it live that often. It has had some use in the past for recording using this attenuator to record direct. These are my guitars. I won't go into describing them all now, or this will be a very long video. The Vox AV30 here is my main amp for playing live. Assuming there is a PA system at the gig, it is more than loud enough when mic'd up, and I think it sounds amazing. The Vox VX15 amp is for smaller venues, as it is even easier to transport, and it works well in a small space. This is one of two panels that are stored outside the room and then brought in when they are needed. They are used to absorb or reflect sound. Most commonly I use these to form a vocal booth when recording vocals. Here is where I perform when I make videos, and where I talk to camera. This decorative throw can be changed with other backgrounds. For example, I can put in a green screen. The throw has a duvet behind it. This may seem weird, but it's fair to absorb the sound, so that there is less echo when I record vocals. That way, it is easier to add the ambience I want when I mix. That is the same reasoning behind the rug. It, along with the floor guards below it, can absorb more sound. When I want the room to be more reflective, I just lift it up and expose the wooden floor. The lights there just give a little ambience. Hopefully that gives a little insight into the recording space I have here. The goal of this studio is to be a comfortable environment as well as a practical space. Whether I'm recording here or whether I'm recording another artist, it's important to be able to perform here whilst feeling relaxed, as well as being able to focus. Hopefully this space is flexible, functional and friendly. 